Well, some people asked for a walkthrough um, of my Oakley Edition 2012 Jeep JK Wrangler Unlimited. Um, so I figured I might as well give it a shot. So let's see what I can come up with. Uh, 2012 Orange Crush um, Oakley Edition. No, they did not offer this. I did it myself. Just as simple as some uh, vinyl decals that I cut myself, um, put on there, um, along with uh, some different emblems and stuff like that, just to give it that extra look that I like. Um, even down here, some, some stuff like that. Um, embroidery on the seats. Did all the Oakley embroidery on the seats myself. Um, and just different little knickknacks and stuff, just little bags. Oakley bag here. Um, I've got a gear shade top, a company local that makes these uh, toppers. And you can see even like uh, Oakley zippers, different things like that. And other details here, just on uh, the seat belts, a placard here, and uh, on the Quadratech floor liners. They actually, uh, it was a perfect uh, space to actually put Oakley logos. I've got one there, and even I got an orange one here in the back. Um, just different things like that that I would think would make it cool. Um, but we come around back, and uh, I don't know if you saw my other videos, but uh, down here I have uh, this bumper is actually running water. This bumper holds about eight gallons. Um, we come over to here to this side. Come over here to this side. You can see you have the running water down here. Um, also, compressed air works right there. Uh, and then on this other side here, actually 120 volt uh, power inverter. That's strong enough. That's actually running uh, impact and then take the lugs off my Jeep. I also have this cover I built um, out of just some three-quarter inch wood and also it's called hydro turf uh, mainly used on uh, jet skis they use it in the footwells you know anti-slip works really great um, built that it uses the uh, hardtop mounting holes to hold it down so I don't have to do any screwing in also I made this little this little tray in here um, that's just big enough to hold my two soft side windows and uh, back window so that way they can and that way they can be out of the way um, and never have to worry about it getting wrinkled. Um, and then down here, that so with, with that cover, it keeps everything in here locked and secure. There's just anything from first aid kits, um, handheld radios, handheld ham radios. I got a tough book in here. Um, my hose up there for my running water. Uh, that's a extension cord. Just a toolbox back there. It's funny enough, it's just a small scuba tank that'll give me about 20 minutes underwater if I want to do some quick diving for some lobster or anything like that. One-time use grill, uh, flashlight, knife, jacket, rain jacket, just pretty much anything I would think of that I would need. Uh, and then I'll, over here, this is one of the uh, tailgate tables, which works nice for just needing some work area. Uh, and also some more Oakley bags that are mounted to that as well for storage and different kind of things like that, like jumper cables, another inverter, uh, different things like that. Uh, when we move up here, this is a go light from by Stryker. Uh, it can move up and down. I'm doing this with a wireless remote control right now. Um, and it can turn on, on and off, obviously. I can run it with a wireless remote or also a joystick up from overhead console, which you'll see here in a second. Uh, that's my CB antenna. These are 35 inch mud terrains, a two and a half inch lift, suspension lift. Um, this is my ham antenna and also my uh, regular just radio antenna all right there. They don't interfere with each other, which I was kind of surprised. I'm going to come around front here. Um, this is a bumper fresh from E-Auto Grills. I was actually surprised at how well it fits perfect. It's a great bumper. Uh, the winch, which is also wirelessly controlled and controlled on my overhead console. Uh, inside here, you'll see this little gadget that actually will imitate a cop radar. So if I push a button that I installed behind my steering wheel, that'll actually set off somebody's radar detector. It's kind of fun when someone blows by you speeding, you can push a button, they think they're getting tagged, and they slam on their brakes. Just a good time. Um, these are some Hella 500 lights. And that's actually the stock fog lights from my stock bumper that I put back onto this aftermarket bumper. Might as well keep it if you got it, right? Uh, high lift jack, this is a poison spider hood louver. Um, this is a cop searchlight, post mountable searchlight. They work great. Most people know how they work. I have a video on this as well, you can see, but uh, 
turns any direction you like. Uh, great for off-road. Just when you want to look anywhere you want uh, and don't have lights everywhere. And now this here is my overhead console that I custom built. It's hard to see the lighting in here. Uh, it's a three or four radio spot uh, console, which I have right now an Android. Uh, ham radio scanner and CB also with a lot of other controls. Um, let me walk you through these here. Uh, starting up here, uh, you have controls for your, your winch in and out. Uh, this is going to activate the winch by turning on. You can see the light turns on, activates the winch. Um, and this joystick here is from my rear spotlight, the ghost striker light that you saw before. Uh, this turns it on. And I guess if you look back here, it'll it'll move as well, just using the joystick. So you can either use the wireless uh, the wireless controller or the joystick. Um, this little button panel I made here this opens up. Uh, these are two different garage doors that'll open up. This powers my inverter on. Uh, my off-road lights. This is some kind of like under the Jeep lights and trail lights. Um, and this turns the fluorescent lights on and off in my garage when I'm coming in. Uh, this area up here, this hole, that's to hold sunglasses. Um, I got a Cobra 29 limited uh, CB radio. This is a scanner. Scans all kinds of radio frequencies from CB to ham frequencies, 800 megahertz, stuff like that. Uh, this radio up here is, that's a ham radio. This is the FTM 350. Uh, great little radio. Uh, dual channel UHF and VHF radio. Uh, down here, this is my 7 inch Android tablet that I mounted in here. This can pretty much do uh, almost basically having like a car computer without having the whole full computer. Right now, this is set up running an application called Torque. Uh, this is talking to my OBD2 sensor in my Jeep. Um, so, this is trying to get this in here so you can see everything. You've got GPS in the top left corner, you have different miles per gallon, speed, GPS speed, different things like that, voltage temperatures, coolant intake, air temperature. You have RPMs, which if I rev my Jeep up, you can see the RPMs go up. Um, also in kilometer, uh, different things like that. You can actually switch between this and have different pages of information. Like this is all GPS, except my GPS height. I don't know why it thinks I'm negative 90 feet. That's not possible. Um, all in kilometer tells you kind of what G forces, different things like that. Um, this will tell me engine revs with MPG and speed, so like if I rev my engine again, you'll see the RPMs go up. Uh, and also all, about, all the charts and everything go up there. Uh, and just this is like 0 to 60, it tells you stuff like that. That's just kind of an overview of everything my Jeep's reading right now. Um, and also trip times, stuff like that. Um, pretty cool little device, and since it's an Android, you can exit out of this um, and basically do whatever you want. Here's my GPS. GPS is Google Maps, which is great. Um, you can also do uh, satellite view, which is great for off-roading. You can see all the trails. Um, even if they're not marked as actual trails, you can see uh, where you're going. Um, exit out of this. Um, you can even just search the internet, too. Like, no, that's my calendar. It's hard to do this here. Search the internet. There's Google. Uh, my Jeep is a Wi-Fi hotspot. So it always has internet wherever I go. Um, this here is the side. Um, it's hard to see oh, it's outside. That uh, that's for my blue. It's like a Bluetooth headset for my ham radio, which is pretty cool. I'm um, down here. Just a seven-inch touchscreen uh, radio. There's a DVD player, backup camera, all that. What's great about this is that I have a an iPod hooked up to it all the time, which is permanently mounted and secure. So you know I can real quick search through all my playlists, uh, albums, artists, and see pretty much whatever I want to see um, without actually using my iPod. So it's all controlled for that. That's pretty basic stuff. But I like to have my GPS and my radio separate. I like to be able to keep my GPS open while I'm changing tracks. So that's why I have two different devices. Um, like I said, the, the cop A pillar searchlight here. Uh, just different little knickknacks and stuff up here, handles, uh, different bags, even more uh, 
different Oakley things. There's even an Oakley on my uh, grab rails. Uh, and under my center console here, you can see uh, where I keep my wireless remotes for my go light. Um, the radar gun, uh, just different things like that. And even inside here, it's hard to see. Not much light, but that's the power inverter. That's basically an outlet and USB ports inside the Jeep. It's also running off the 1500 watt inverter, which is under the seat. You can see it down there. And that's uh, running power to my entire Jeep if I want it on or off. I just hit the switch, it turns on up here. I push the switch, now I have inverted power, which is great. Uh, that's pretty much the walkthrough of my Jeep. Uh, I'm sure there's things I've forgotten, but it's pretty much a good overview of uh, everything I've gotten.